In most places in the world, if a man murders his wife, he tries to keep it a secret. He tries to conceal his actions. In other places, however, if a man murders his wife, he openly brags about it and walks around showing people his wife's severed head because he wants people to know that he's proud of what he's done. And we're proud of that. Yesterday, someone sent me this email. Dear David, Hello, I am, name omitted for security reasons, one of your YouTube followers. I live in Iran. Before I go to the subject, I must say this, that you changed my life and you opened my eyes to the truth. I left Islam and I am a believer in Jesus now since I have started watching your videos. Thank you so much. May God always show his grace upon you. So there you have a bonus leaving Islam testimony, but that's not what this email is really about. But regarding the subject, I should mention that here in Iran, people are mostly Shia, as you may know, but just by name, the majority lost their beliefs in both Islam and also God since the revolution in 1979 happened. The mullah's true face left them angry and hateful towards any religion. By the way, there are still a totalitarian regime in power and support the minority who still believe in Islam, and needless to say that they prosecute anyone who becomes Christian. That minority is doing a lot of damage here while the world is not watching us. It's just an example of what is going on in the religious regions here. All right, so that's a lot of good news about people leaving Islam. Now for the bad news about some of the people who still follow it. About two to three days ago, a Muslim beheaded his 17-year-old wife. Yes, here also they marry children. With the help of his cousin, then took her head off and carried it around the city happily to show people how happy he is because of his honor killing. The wife apparently tried to run away to Turkey, but they found her over there, dragged the poor girl back to Iran, and slaughtered her. I need to mention that he and his cousin will get away with this murder, as Islamic law is somehow protecting honor killers in Iran. It is not the first time we hear such news, and it is devastating. Please, if you read this message, show it to the world. Below, you can find two links to the news. If you had trouble with Google Translate, please let me know to help you translate it. Use Persian, and there are some links to sources in Persian. Thank you, and Godspeed, my far distant friend. I didn't want to share this story with something I got from Google Translate, but later I started seeing tweets about this honor killing. Heartbreaking, today in Iran... This man is holding his 17-year-old wife's head after beheading her. She had fled to Turkey to be safe, but was forced back. I read in an article that the woman's father lured her back to Iran so that her husband could kill her. And then she gives an example of criminal justice in Iran. In Iran, a father who beheaded his 14-year-old daughter got eight years in prison, but a woman who removed her hijab got 24 years. Hashtag let us talk. Sorry, but you can't talk in the West because it would be Islamophobic. This tweet included a picture of the Iranian murderer proudly posing for a picture with his wife's severed head. Notice that he's smiling. Here's a follow-up tweet with more details. See the beautiful smile of Mona Heydari, a 17-year-old girl who was beheaded by her husband yesterday. She was a victim of forced marriage at the age of 12, and she had a 3-year-old boy. This is how living under Sharia laws looks like in Iran. My heart is broken. Hashtag, let us talk. Here's a picture of Mona Heydari, forced into marriage at 12 years old. And today, the Associated Press posted, Iran's semi-official ILNA news agency is reporting that two brothers in police custody have confessed to decapitating the wife of one of them after a gruesome video of the victim circulated online. The report said the two men were arrested four hours after the killing on Saturday in the southwestern city of Avaz. Tens of thousands of people viewed the video on social media, which showed a man holding a large knife while carrying a severed head with long hair in another hand. ILNA quoted a police officer, Colonel Sorheb Hosseinajad, as saying that the defendants confessed to the murder during the police investigation and were introduced to the judicial authority. They were introduced to the judicial authority in Iran, a judicial authority that protects men who brutally murder their wives and sisters and daughters. Why does the judicial authority in Iran protect men who brutally murder their wives and sisters and daughters? Because these men are only doing what the Islamic government wants to do. 
Islamic governments are always, always, always at war with women. In Western nations, Muslim preachers are terrified that some Islamophobe might pull off a woman's hijab. In Muslim nations, women are terrified that their husbands and brothers and fathers might pull off their heads if they take off their own hijabs. This is a problem religion, there's a reason to it. Yeah? Yeah?